Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well today we're going to use a free plugin and we're going to create a, a cool flip box effect. Like this, we've done this before and I've hand coded them and I've also used various plugins. We're going to use a different plugin today called Divi Enhancer and it's free. I'll put the link below the video or you can just go add plugins and type in Divi Enhancer. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. We'll do everything on the front end. Divi is so cool. If you're building any sort of site with WordPress, I would recommend you check out Divi. It just, I've been using it for years. Its features keep getting better and better. And if you want to take it for a test spin, you can do so from my affiliate link below the video here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just duplicate this section and we'll start again. Or in fact, let's just add a new section. Let's add one up here. So hit the blue button, new section, regular. I'm going to put in, uh, say two columns like I've done in this one below. I may as well stick to the, stick to our formula here. And once you've, once you've added the Divi Enhancer plugin, if we scroll down here, see so all these regular modules here come already with Divi, but once you install the Divi Enhancer, you'll get these DE boxes. We're going to use this one today, Flipbox. Some of these are only available in the pro version, but the Flipbox is part of the free version. So let's add a new item. It's a bit like a carousel. You've just got to add two items, one for the front and one for the back. And let's just go to the content. We'll call this one number one. And let's put some text in there. We'll say, check this out. The link, if you want to link it to somewhere, put in your link here. I'm not going to link the front one to anywhere. I might link the back one to the top of the page or something just to make sure, sure it's going to work and show you how it works. Okay, and for the background, I'm going to use a color and an image. So on the first one, color, gradient, image, video. So I'll use a color. I'm going to hit the plus button. Just going to give it a blue color. There we go. Then I'm going to go over to the image background. I'm going to add an image as well. And today, let's just add that one. So there we go. We've actually, when I hover over it, it sort of turns and there's no second one, so you don't see anything. You can see that text barely in the top left corner. I don't know if you can see it or not there. So let's make that more visible. Let's go over to our design tab. And let's go down to module text. You can choose fonts. By default, <laughs> it's just hundreds of fonts built into this theme, the Divi theme. Now I'm going to leave it on default. We're going to make it semi bold, perhaps. Make it a bit more legible. Let's change the color. There we go. So you can actually see it now. It's white. I'm going to make it all caps. TT. I'm going to centralize it, put it in the middle there. And let's make our text a lot bigger. Something like that. Make it stand out a bit, a little bit more. You can add a bit of box shadow if you want to. Now we need to get some height to this element. And to do that, we need to go to the spacing and add a bit of padding. Let's go down to spacing. And let's go down and add 150 top. Or whatever you want to add. And hit the chain link. It'll do the same on the bottom for you. So that's about right. Now that writing stands out okay, but uh, it's not quite as legible as I'd like it. It sort of gets a little bit lost in there in those buildings. So let's go back to our background. Shut that one up. Go back to content to background. 
I'm going to use the blend mode because if you remember, I put a color in the background there. And do play with these. You can get some great effects. I'm going to go down to multiply. There we go. You can really see that now. You can still see the background image. If you want more of the image to bleed through, let's go back to our color. And you can click on the color. And the right hand slider here is opacity or opacity, however you like to say it. If you pull that down, it'll bleed through more of the image. Well, that's pretty legible right there. So I'm going to leave mine right about there, or perhaps even a little bit less. Yeah, how's that? OK, so there's our first part of our flip box. Now we need to create something for it to flip to. Let's hit the checkbox. There's our first one. So we need to add a second one, which will be the one that it's going to flip to. And again, we just need to put in a bit of content. What I'll do is steal a bit of text from up here. This is Lorem Ipsum nonsense text that uh, designers use for just putting content in sites that have no content. OK, uh, let's say click here. And let's go to our design. Well, let's put a background color in first. What you're going to notice is now I've put something in here. It's got it down below there. And at the moment, we've got no background color or anything. When we save, it'll align it all horizontally. So you don't need to add any extra padding to get it up above or anything. So let's go to our background for this one. I'm just going to simply use that same blue color. There we go. It's got a blue background. We've lost our writing because it's kind of dark on that blue background. So that's absolutely fine. Let's go over to our design tab. To our module text. Hit the color white. Let's see if that's done it for us. Yeah, that's turned it white. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And we'll centralize it again by giving it a bit of padding. We can just give it padding top on this one. So it won't over overwrite the size of the, the first one there. So let's align it centrally. Already white. Let's make that text say 18 pixels. Or whatever you prefer to make it. There we go. That's that's a lot more readable. And we want it more in the middle of the module, so there's slightly more text, so we don't want to do 150. Let's let's try doing 100 or so and see what happens. So let's go down to spacing. Let's add 125. And it will put the pixels in for you. Okay, it's down there. Of course, it's being... Overshadowed a bit by the one that's below it. That's okay. Let's give it some margin left and right of say 50 pixels. And for both sides, just hit the check mark and it'll enter it for you. All right, well, let's save and see what we got. I guess what I'll do is I'll put a hashtag in there for a link that'll take it up to the top of the page and we'll just check that that's going to work. So I'm going to go back to content, link module link or of course you can link individual individual word words in the content simply by selecting them and hitting the link one if you want it to go to different places like click here but i'm just going to link the whole module and i'm just going to put a hashtag in there that will take it to the top of the page save that And save again, save our Divi Builder changes and exit and see what we've got.
scroll on down. There we go. The only other thing that I didn't do was this one. I just added a bit of box shadow to both. But uh, that's a quick, pretty handy little module right there. And like I say, when we click on this one, it should take us to the top of the page. There we go. And here are the other things that we, the timeline and the little pricing tables we built with the same free plugin. And just to show you, let's go to the dashboard. And if we go down, when you've got DV Enhancer installed, it's right here. And if you click on plugins, there it is right there, but I'm sure you can hit add new. There it is, Divi Enhancer, and it's free. I've already got mine activated. There's how to add some interesting flip box effects with the free Divi Enhancer plugin. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.